Clark Show. The show is about conversations that matter. And uh, I am always um, very pleased to bring people on the show who are about birthing new ideas. <laughs> and, 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 and these lovely ladies who are in business together uh, are doing just that. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about what that means. Uh, please welcome the founders of Helping Hands Doula, Christy Clements and Jessica Payne. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Nikki. We're happy to be here. Oh, awesome, awesome. So um, I don't know much about birth and babies, but uh, I know you do. Uh, you have um, a world of expertise between the two of you uh, in uh, the birthing process and the before and after care. Uh, so maybe you can tell us, Christy, a little bit about your background. So I started Helping Hands Doula 16 years ago, um, and it was sort of stemmed because I had a fabulous experience delivering my daughter, and uh, that was with midwives, and I wanted to give back in some way, and I thought that was being a midwife and actually fell into being a doula. Um, on my journey to becoming a midwife and loved doula work and loved that um, I had the flexibility of being able to give some very individualized care and support to new families. So I um, started Helping Hands and became partners with, with Jessica about four years ago. Wonderful. And Jessica, tell us about your connection with Helping Hands. So similar to Christy in the way that I wanted to be a midwife, I had really no idea that doulas existed until I started to applying to the program mm -hmm. um, and really fell in love with the piece that is that role transition, helping people in the biggest part of their, their life, figuring out, figuring out how to become a parent. And Christy and I found each other before we became partners because being a doula by yourself is a rather lonely profession mm -hmm. and it's also all encompassing. You're on call 24-7, 365 days a year and that can be really challenging. Burnout rate's pretty high. So when we became partners, that definitely became life-changing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you can lean on each other mm -hmm. for, for yeah. that support. That's that's wonderful. Absolutely. So you're four years in, in mm -hmm. the uh, Helping Hands business. Um, and, and I think maybe it's important for us to define what a doula is. Uh, because I know, because I actually was interested in dabbling into mm -hmm. uh, the doula profession. But how would you describe what that is, Christy? So a doula is the wedding planner for the birth of a baby. Okay, got it. <laughs> so what that basically means is when you get married, it's the officiant that marries the couple, but the wedding planner is the one that makes sure that the day goes smoothly mm -hmm. and gives you ideas ahead of time that you wouldn't have thought of because mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I don't live in the wedding planning world, so I wouldn't knew, know all of those <laughs> yes, things. Of course. So yeah. for the birth of a baby, it's the same thing. It's a huge event, and most people have not been through this before and don't know the ins and outs of it, and that adds a lot of stress and anxiety mm -hmm. and to have a guide walk you through information ahead of time, hold your hand literally and figuratively <laughs> during the, um, the birthday party, as we like to call yeah. it. And then afterwards, when they hand that baby over and say, okay, you can go home now, and these new parents are like, how am I supposed to even know what to do next? Right. And so, you know, helping with that transition is something that we're, mm -hmm. we're very passionate about and, and what is very unique to being a doula because nothing else is like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that must be um, such an incredible feeling for you to, you know, be part of, it's like family, really. Absolutely. And we'll say with, to our clients, we want to make sure that there's that connection there and you build your relationship with your doula because it's one of the most intimate times mm -hmm. of your life. Mm -hmm. And it creates a bond that can never be broken with your doula. And we have a high regard for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Can you tell us, uh, Jessica, of uh, maybe one of your first dual experiences and, and how that was for you? How, how did it transform first your doula life? experience. Yeah. Well, I had been to births before I was a doula, uh, which was pretty cool, and not knowing what a doula was um, at that time was a very different role for me. 
But after taking training and becoming certified, being able to help navigate through the process unbiased without that emotional connection for that mm -hmm. family to help them really understand what the benefits are, make sure that they feel good every step of the way. There can be a ton of fear surrounding birth. Mm -hmm. I think regardless if someone has anxiety before pregnancy, you're still going to be anxious that day. You are meeting your baby for the first time and your body is undergoing great changes. So, you know, it's, it's life-changing for us because we're helping to reduce that stress. Right. Which is huge. Yeah, which is very huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that really diminishes the anxiety and fear. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. Yeah, I, I don't think uh, you can have you know two or three children, uh, and, and your fourth uh, on the way. It's it's still scary, you know, because you never know uh, what is um, on the way. But to have someone like you to reassure is is a wonderful thing. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, kudos to you for what you're doing, and so. Tell me, um, what are some of the ways that you um, assess families, or rather, how do families assess you uh, when they want to, you know, use your services? What are some of the things that they need to find out to well, to hire a doula? Really great thing is that there's complimentary consultations mm -hmm. always. Okay. So, like we were saying, it's a huge it's a huge life change. You want to make sure that you have that connection there with your doula. So we always offer a complimentary consultation to find out the benefits of the service and also to make sure that there's that connection piece there. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But what are some of the challenges that you faced as a doula? I think the biggest thing for me um, was how lonely it was. Mm -hmm. um, it is, it's one of those things that as a, as a doula, you wanna give all of yourself, right? You're, given such a gift uh, being invited to such a, an intimate time so it's very giving and you don't have an office to go to and colleagues to sort of help pump you up mm -hmm. and that's it's very it can be draining so having um having jessica now being able to create a team for doulas uh, has been has been amazing because we're able to provide that support for the givers, for the, the supporters even. Yes. Um, and that has become mm -hmm. a, a new mission for us and, and transforming Helping Hands now. Mm -hmm. That is not just Jessica mm -hmm. and I, because we experienced how life-changing it was to work together mm -hmm. and to drive to interviews together and to have someone to talk to about the birth experiences sure. we've gone to. And sometimes even just to say how tired we are and mm -hmm. have someone understand what that means really and truly. Um, and so now we have other birth teams and other doulas on mm -hmm. our team. And, and that's really exciting mm -hmm. and fun it for is. us. And making it a sustainable profession, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. so important. We want to keep good doulas in the business. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and how long is the training to be a doula? Depends on the doula training that you are, or the organization that you're working with. Um, it, it, it could go on for a couple of years with certification. But with us, we like to make sure that our doulas are constantly being trained. So we like to meet monthly and have check-ins every week so that they are getting the ongoing education and support. That's the big okay. important piece. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm so delighted that you're here to share um, what maybe not too many people know about doulas, uh, uh, but how important your role is and um, how it's it's a wonderful thing to invite a doula in your life and into your family. Uh, so how can people connect with you? Where can they, they locate you on social media? So they could find us at helpinghandsdoula.com, on Instagram at helpinghandsdoula, and YouTube and Facebook too. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. Um, so have you thought about maybe um, publishing a book on the the doula process or mm -hmm. hiring a doula for sure yeah um, I think there's lots of information that we could share as mm -hmm. doulas and also being a mom and um, you know the the we have a, a meetup group called perfectly imperfect oh, nice. new and expectant parents That's and great. You know, that idea that we think we need to have it all together mm -hmm. all the time and mm -hmm. on social media putting that front that, 
you know, everything is great and wonderful when behind the scenes it's we're falling apart. So, you know, I'd love to, to showcase that a little bit more and, and say it's okay. It's okay to not have all the answers, sure. especially when you're a parent. Mm -hmm. um, you can make mistakes. That's how we learn. And we want to save our children from making mistakes, but that's how they learn. Sure. And I know those are the most valuable lessons that I had growing up were the challenges sure. that I had. So. Yeah. Sharing that would be would be a great mm -hmm. a great thing. Yeah, that's wonderful. I, you know, nobody's perfect. Uh, there's no manual on uh, becoming a parent, uh, not yet, anyway. Awesome. So um, I am really uh, really happy that you're here, and you know, keep up the great work. And uh, so you say you're around the clock, uh, you know, yeah. working. So I imagine you've got some places to go very soon. <laughs> Um, so, uh, what would you recommend to someone who is thinking of uh, becoming a doula? Any advice? Any last words? Any last words? Find a good team. Mm -hmm. Team is definitely important. Being yeah. a solo doula, it's a huge burnout rate. And if you want to do this for long term, put the systems in place. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. It's been a pleasure. Jessica, thank you so much. You're Keep up welcome. the great work. Thank you. Christy, all the best. All right. We'll be back. The Nikki Clark Show, transforming lives one story at a time. If you would like to be a guest or become a part of our live studio audience or even to become a sponsor, just go to www.nikkiclarknetwork.com.